There are people who would have you believe that behemoths are wicked beasts, bent on human destruction. Our experiences led to a different conclusion, that humanity is in their way. Despite their size and formidable power, these creatures appear to be feeding machines, ravenous, mobile, consumers of ether. But one thing is clear. This single-minded ether consumption makes the behemoths our enemies. Without ether, the Scarred Isles, our home, would collapse into the sky below. While we have so far kept the behemoths at bay, they've been getting bolder, creeping in from the frontier and ever closer to Ramsgate. If we don't fight them off, and if they succeed in devouring what ether is left, then humanity, too, is doomed to fall. When we speak of slayers, we don't speak of an elite group of chosen warriors. We speak of every human willing to wield a blade, or pike, or hammer, and fight for a future against the behemoths. Slayers will need to learn to make the most of every hunt. They'll need to identify and harvest native flora for their tonics. They'll need to strip scales and fur from the slain and shape it in the ether forged armour and steel. They'll need to learn the ways that behemoths hunt, and they'll need to learn to turn that knowledge against them. If, in spite of the challenges, you chose to pursue a life as a slayer, you would likely begin by hunting something familiar, such as a Nasher. First things first, never underestimate a behemoth. A Nasher's paddle-like tail can knock even a veteran slayer off their feet, and a Nasher in an enraged state is a stomping, chomping force of nature. Stay patient, avoid its rolling attacks and take advantage of any tonics you've packed. Because it's better to burn through 500 notes and supplies than leave your body in a tail-shaped crater. This fight would be the first of many, for there's far more powerful and terrifying behemoths out there in the Shattered Isles. Behemoths once kept their distance from inhabited islands, but lately not so much. Behemoths have been spotted outside their usual territories, dangerously close to the human settlements, and they seem to be growing stronger. There have even been reports of strange new behemoths out past the monstrous verge. What are they doing out there? Where are they coming from? And why the sudden shift in behaviour? <laughs>